How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the In Therapy Podcast here with Mr. Reyes. And Resilient in my new chair. In your new chair. I had to make sure my chair was way better <laughs> than Kevin's chair. I mean... And it is. I mean, it rocks. I just chose for it not to rock right now, you know, but it has, like, rocking Let capabilities. Watch out. How low does it go? Can it go down low? Yes. All the way to the floor. Oh! Um, when it comes down to, um, the Aztec culture tattoos, uh, mm -hmm. I feel like it's becoming super popular in the industry. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people are constantly getting the, the Aztec statues, yeah. Aztec gods, but I feel like, uh, uh, we don't put enough effort into learning the, the history behind it to fully get the whole story. Well, I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, a lot of people just... You know, there's some people that get the tattoos for, like, the significance of mm -hmm. it, you know? Yes. And there's some people that get it for the style of it. The aesthetics of how it looks. Yeah. Yes. And I feel mm -hmm. like there's two different types of people. Like, you yes. know, you always get the person like, oh, my God, I love your tattoo. What does that mean? And it's just like, <laughs> yes. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a leaf. It's a leaf. <laughs> like, I, like, yeah. always, like, bullshit. And I'm just like, it's for my three sisters. <laughs> oh, what? And, you know, like, the sun. It's like, you know, there's always people that, you know, yeah. want a meaning to it. And it's really cool. You know, there's some, um, I know that there's a lot of tattoos on me that I've been like, you know what? I'm going to get it for this particular phase in my life. That meaning, you know, mm -hmm. that you put onto it. But, you know, there there are some people that just no don't care, which is either or I think yeah. is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But um, I know a lot of like these bigger pieces, like the ones that you were talking about, like the Aztecs, do have bigger meanings and mm -hmm. stories behind it. Yeah. Um, so I think it's pretty cool for people to learn about the history of it. That kind of like gives you more power. Yeah. Towards the piece to connect mm -hmm. with it in a different way. Oh yeah, that would definitely like make you connect to your piece even on a on a higher level mm -hmm. because you know the surface of it you know the name of the god and you know the purpose of the god yeah but like as far as the journey and what they actually did in the culture you know their their um input or yeah like the what they did for the for the whole what would i'm so excited <laughs> <laughs> just wants oh. to talk about it already um uh but one one goddess that's that's becoming very popular in the industry is Coatlicue. Can you say it again? Coatlicue. Free. <laughs> Coatlicue. Coatli. I'm trying to like mock the same way that you're doing your lips. <laughs> Alright, so coa. Coa. Tli. Tli. T L I. Tli. Tli. Coatli. 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 Que. Que. Cualtlicue. Coal. Yeah, so it does. Cualtlicue. Yes. Cualtli. I always forget that <laughs> one. I don't know if it's the I before. Cualtlicue. Cualtlicue. There you go. Cualtlicue. <laughs> Cualtlicue. It's a hard word to say. Cualtlicue. Cualtlicue. So if you're thinking about getting a uh, cualtlicue done in the future, uh, either as a full back piece, full torso, or a simple arm tattoo. This is the episode you should watch because it's going to give you a lot more uh, information. And I feel like I highlighted the most important things of like this. Like the backstory the, of who she is. Yes. And it gets, this is interesting. It gets juicy. Oh. Juicy. It sounds like Rosa de Guadalupe. 
because i hope so if you're gonna try and get me entertained with some history it better be good because i am i brought myself a sugar cup Mm. a cup of basically sugar it's coffee but it's basically sugar and a cinnabon so hopefully oh oh, (laughs) hopefully this is interesting it is it's juicy here we go i'm ready so i hope that you guys found this episode super interesting and if you're gonna get this tattoo please tag me on instagram let me know and if let me know what you learn about this episode and if you guys have something to add to the story Drop it on the comments because there is so much to learn from from this culture, mm-hmm. the Aztec culture, those mechicas, that there's no way I can say everything in this podcast. There's no way. This is the story of Coaltlicue. One more time. Coaltlicue. There you go. Mm, I'm already feeling a yawn coming through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> If you yawn in the intro, I'm calling it a day. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Please, nostrils, don't give me away. <laughs> <laughs> so <right>. <laughs> <laughs> This is all you see. Just <laughs> you know, the eyes get bigger, but the muscles just... Mm. This is what um, how the statue looks like right now. She's famous for wearing a skirt of snakes. Oh, that's right. Boom. Oh. She, there you go. A little bit of a fashion statement oh, going yeah. on. Oh, yeah. She was fashionable. Is that her boobs? Yes. Those are her boobs. Damn, mm-hmm. girl. She was out there. You was thick. <laughs> okay, thickety snickety. <laughs> <laughs> and she served as an agriculture fertility deity. Deity? Deity, I think deity. it is. Mm-hmm. And uh, she also predicted the downfall of the Aztec Empire. So she knew she was like, "This is gonna go down eventually. Like, we're gonna this this culture here, this this our families are gonna die." And uh, Qualtlicue also wore a necklace of alternating hands and human hearts as a necklace. So you see the hands right there, the heart, the hands. So she had. You know, <laughs> it was a little, a little twisted and it represented life. That's okay. what it represented. And then, and instead of a human head, she mm-hmm. had two snakes making up the face. So this is not a whole face. It's actually two snakes facing each other. Oh, I see yeah. it. Nice. But I the cool mean. thing about the statue is that she's on, she only has one tongue. So the two snakes come together as one. Oh, okay. So that's why it, it shows that it's only one tongue instead of two. Oh, you know what's so cool? Like if you look far away, it looks like one snake. Exactly. Yes. But together, uh-huh. it's two snakes making up the one. Uh huh. Yes. Wow. And it was crazy how they thought about this. Like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put two snakes together, and I'm gonna make one. Like yeah, insane. You know, and then um. And then her name, uh, Cualtlicue, if you translate it into um, Castellano. How do you say that in English? Castellano. I don't even know. It is know. basically Spanish. It's the Spanish um, language. Okay. Castellano. Um, which means snake her skirt. Snake her skirt? Mm-hmm. If you translate it the way the, the her name is spelled out, that's what it means. It's going to start getting juicier I'm now. I'm waiting. All right. Here Coming we go. on. Coming in. The snakes... On the uh, on the like, that snakes on her head, okay. they represent the earth. Okay. Then look at her feet; those are eagle claws. They were they're supposed to be eagle okay, claws. Okay, I see it. I see it. And they represent the sun. Okay. What does the snake and the eagle remind you of? The snake and the eagle, mm-hmm. Mexico. The Mexican flag. Uh huh. And that is why the Mexican flag represents it goes all the way back to Cualtlicue and this is where I'm gonna tell you how she looked like when she was younger I am waiting so when she was younger she was beautiful you know <laughs> she was beautiful everybody was in love with her almost like like Medusa so okay. she was beautiful every uh everything like she she was nice body everything and all the gods were impressed with her yeah, I bet they were. And they were like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> and then she met this dude. Ugh. Yeah. 
Ugh. Yeah, this I already is- know that it's it's over at this point. <laughs> Her beauty's gone. She's tired all the time, stressed out. <laughs> this is where everything gets interesting. Yes, man ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> so she meets this, uh, the son of one of the gods. Okay. All right. His name is Mixcoalt. Dang it. Mm. You would fall for a guy named Mixcoalt. Yeah, don't let you say it because I can't say it. And he was like, <laughs> the, he's the god... <laughs> He's the god of the clouds. Dang. <laughs> heck yeah. Shoot, I, I don't even know who he is and I'd fall in love with him. Yeah. A name like that, you just know he's just like... Mm, Mixcoaltla. God the of the clouds. God of the clouds. <laughs> Te abro los cielos, mamacita. Damn. Yeah, Debajo you know? las nubes y el cielo. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. How could you not fall in love with him? Yeah, so they get married. <sighs> no. <laughs> they end up getting married. Yeah. Okay. And they live in the in uh, Teotihuacan. Now that's the city of the gods. Okay. That's where all the gods live. Okay. You know. So it's pretty much close to Mexico, but a little. It's mm. like on the suburbs, oh, the rich exactly. area. Exactly. They were the rich people. Okay. And they. Does this place still exists. Yes. Yeah. Wow. It's not a. It's the ruins of it though. Mm. So it's it's very it's well preserved. So people go there and you can visit, which. <laughs> We gotta go. Dang, that's so <laughs> yeah. cool. Okay. We gotta go. And the city was was made a hundred years or started getting built a hundred years after Christ. So this is the year a hundred. After Christ. After Christ. Oh. The the tribe was already <laughs> the tribe was already there, Los Olmecas, nine thousand before Christ. Cut this part. <laughs> <laughs> And by the year 300, it was fully built. So they were already living there. Um, so, as a married couple. Mm, did he ruin her life and they, give her kids? They had kids. No! <laughs> <laughs> they had kids. Um, the first child uh, was a woman. A female. A mm-hmm. woman? A, a, a girl. It was a like, girl. What, she was a popped out a woman? Like, <laughs> the first child. First child was a woman. <laughs> it's like, well, damn, she walked out a woman? What's going on? In some cases, some gods, yes. <laughs> Ouch. So, um, her name is uh, Koyol Shauki. Koyol Shauki. Yeah, and she was a badass. Mm-hmm. She's strong. Yeah, she just was like the mother. bougie, too. Jewelry everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know? She, at least she didn't wear jewelry. She wasn't bougie like that. She was just humble about her beauty. You know what I mean? Walking around. I know I'm cute, but... But she's you know, strong. But she's strong. But yeah, but uh, Koyol Shauki, she was bougie, you know? Mm, okay. And um, she was so strong that she became the leader. Not of the whole tribe. Of the other siblings. <laughs> because... She's the older sister. Yeah. Uh, cause they have more, and she. Oh, and by the way, Koyol Shauki, she's the moon. Yes. Damn. Mhm. Just remember. Sh- uh, okay, for now, I'm glad you're proud of her. <laughs> well, she's a Mungia, you know. Oh yeah, Moon like, Mungia. Mm-hmm. Okay. Related to her already, and the bougie. <laughs> yeah, she bougie and the like that. Mhm. And the gorgeousness. I mean. <laughs> Need I say more? Uh, say less. Okay. <laughs> say Next. Less. And they had more children after her. Uh, how many? <laughs> Can you take a guess? I feel like you know since so it's back then. Back then they had like six, seven kids. Oh damn! That's a that's a yeah. That's a all right guess. How many? Four hundred kids. What? And they became they became the stars. Okay. See, now I know this story. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> <laughs> she was busy. There 400 were, kids. And they also had powers. <laughs> so, I'm walking out. You better hurry up and change the story. <laughs> okay, I'm going. I'm going. So she became the leader of all the 400 uh, siblings. Okay. She was strong. And then her siblings were the stars. And they're known as the southern stars of Mexico. So like actual stars. Yeah, actual stars. This they were they were tr- they were basically decorating the the nighttime. So basically, they were just like full of gas. Full of what? Gas. Gas. 
Yeah, because stars are like gas. Oh, oh. So they popped out one real child and the rest were just gas. Yes. <laughs> okay. They were like, all right, our job here is done. Our mission is completed. Now let's go and retire and go live in uh, Teotihuacan, the god of the cities. Okay. The, I mean, the, the city of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And, you know, they were living their best life, chilling, you know. And <laughs> they had more kids. No, they did not. Oh God. Um the husband he cheated on Coaltlique. He cheated on her? <laughs> yes. Son of a <laughs> And you know, she was being uh she was being an investigator, you know what I mean? That's so she, right. So she was following him because uh -huh. you know, what was he doing? I mean that we we already made our kids. What's up? God, what else can you expect? He gives you 401 children <laughs> and yeah just so goes and cheats on you yeah so she, um he uh she started following him mm -hmm. to see what was he doing because they were retired they're supposed to be chilling you know and yeah she found them uh doing the nasty <gasps> in the act yeah oh. liquid was like what and She's uh, like the Shakira in the situation. Who cheats on Shakira? Those are facts. Yes. So, Cuatlicue is Shakira. Damn. So, she's looking at them and she got angry. Angry. And because she is super dope and powerful, mm -hmm. she killed the husband. Yes. She stabbed him. Just dismembered his body. Ooh. So, he died. And she was hurt, though. The thing is that she he cheated on her with not another goddess or none of that. It was an indigenous from the city, from the city of Teotihuacan. So like a like a citizen, a human being, a human person, not a supernatural human. Dang. Yes. So he died. The girl was never found. She ran. <laughs> but Quantlique well, like, yeah. was, you know, devastated. Right. Mm hmm. So she became a very depressed person, very sad. So she would she would just get up and clean the, her temple. She would just clean it and clean it and clean it, because if you don't clean, they were very clean back then, extremely clean. I mean, they would sh shower three to uh, three to four times a day, because they couldn't be filthy. If they were filthy, it was a sin. The gods wouldn't be happy with you. Damn. So she had to broom her temple every day to satisfy herself. Okay. Because she was a goddess. I mean, a god. Mm -hmm. You know, a goddess. So she she had to clean her temple and to maintain her dignity. Yeah. You know. And after a while, you know, um, she started to crave human blood. Because of how depressed she was, she needed to be stronger. So the only way to uh, to gain the that the strength is by getting the uh, sacrifice from the people. Uh, every time you sacrifice someone, you had to offer it to. So cats. that's why, like back then, you know, the Aztecs would kill people, mm -hmm. they cut off their heads, and offer it to the gods. Yeah, to keep the peace in the tribe. So technically, like the gods at one point lived amongst the people, mm -hmm. and now they don't. Yes. So they still do the offering for them. Exactly. Okay. Yes. At some point, she started, you know, because she was depressed, she was sad. She started turning into a monster, like her body just started deteriorating because of she was hurt. Yeah. So she started getting super old fast, you know, and these nasty things, and uh, her children left her. Oh, you know, so she was alone. She was just a lonely mother. Damn, four hundred and one kids, yep, and no all of them one visited. Left her? Mm -mm. But she should be ashamed. But uh -huh. she was sent a beautiful gift. It, <laughs> it was a, it was a, a ball of uh, feathers from a, um, a hummingbird. She received it. And it turns out that that let her know that she, by some miracle, she got pregnant. Does that sound familiar? She's a Virgin Mary. <laughs> Which her name, besides 
uh, Cuatlicue, she's also known as Tonazzi. 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 Okay. And that name means mi madre, my mother. So, <laughs> she mysteriously, by some miracle, became pregnant. Once the children found out that she was pregnant, mm -hmm. they were they were mad. Especially um, Koyol Shauki. The, the oldest one. Yes, the moon. Okay. She was pissed, you know. She became ashamed of her mother's sexuality. Mm-hmm. So... Did she, like, assume that she was having yes. sexual intercourse with, like, somebody else? So she was calling her... A slut? Uh, yep. <gasps> mm-hmm. Even after her dad already had yes. cheated on her? Yes. A little bum. So, Koyol Shauki mm -hmm. recruited all the 400 kids to have a meeting. They were like, hey, come through. She's pregnant. What, what are we going to do? Koyol Shauki, she said, well, there's only one thing to do. Kill her. <gasps> Kill their own mother? <laughs> yes. And they started planning the day they were going to do it. Ungrateful ass kids. Mm -hmm. After she spent years of taking care of them. And after that, um, she heard a voice from inside her womb by Wichi Lopochli that said, don't worry, I got you. I'll take care of you. So the day of when they came running to um, kill her, mm -hmm. she goes and hides in her temple in an area where she could have more time to give birth to Wichilopochtli. Mm -hmm. She gives birth to a full-ass god. <coughs> Pass! Out! She, he was born as a warrior. Okay. When they were on the way to kill the mother, mm -hmm. out of all the 400 kids, one of them was like, I can't let her kill my mother. So he ran and got ahead of everybody to tell her, hey, they're about to kill you. I'm just doing my job as, a, as, a, as, a, as one of your child's children. Children. As one of your children. And, and <clears throat> they're going to kill you. So that's when she went and hide. And Does this little gas bubble have a name? Uh, no. Mm. Not recorded. I'm pretty sure he had. I'm, I'm, honestly, wait, wait, wait. It almost rhymed with her name. I just didn't memorize it. Cualtlicue, cual, cual something like that. But it almost sounds like her name. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to look it up. If you if you can look it up, drop it in the comments. <laughs> um, so anyway, she gives birth to Wichilopochtli with the weapon and starts killing everybody. Sass, 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 sass. Oh. Starts killing everybody in there. And some of them, they said, I'm out. Hell no. Like this fool is killing everybody. And she gets to the sister. She's, she's like, what's up? He gets to the sister. Yeah, he gets to the sister. Mm -hmm. The sister is just like, oh, damn, this was killing everybody. Okay. Strong as hell. And without wasting any time, with the weapon, tss, just decapitates her. <gasps> no head. Bah, dies. The moon. The moon. And he becomes the god of war. The god of the sun. He becomes the sun. And that's a different story of how the moon came back. I don't want to. I don't want to go in too much in it. Mm -hmm. But have you ever noticed that there's a bunny in it, like a little shape of a bunny on the moon, right? No. Well, there's like a little thing. If, if you zoom in into the moon, you always see like a shape of a bunny on it. What? What? You never seen it? No. What? Okay. Well, anyways, there's a story where it comes in where uh, there's a story where. There's a, a someone that sacrificed their life to become the moon, and so the technical moon that's now is not the same moon that died that day. Exactly, it's a different moon. Okay. Recruited by all the gods, like as El Coag, Wichilopochtli, all those people. They all, they all, they all announced a new moon. Yes, they did. Okay. And after the god of war, the the god of war, mm -hmm. became the god of the the sun. You know, he had to go out there and start. You know, doing his own thing. He started his career, you know. <laughs> and the, he started shining. <laughs> yeah, he started shining. He became a celebrity, you know. He became a celebrity because killing the sister and save Cuatlicue. Cuatlicue once again became lonely. But she was cool with it, though, because 
um Quantico was uh, there's a, a part on the on the scripts or the what is it yeah right the the scripts, the scripts yeah, yeah. It says, Cualtrico was simply a lonely mother who couldn't wait to see her child again. The only way that she could see Qual uh, Huichilopochtli again is that uh, by the downfall of the Aztec Empire, which she already predicted. So it was just a matter of time before they re reunited again. How did she predict that? When did she predict that? Um, it, there was not a specific story to it on how she predicted it, uh -huh. but she just knew that there was, there was going to be an end to the Aztec Empire. Oh, okay. It got intense. Yeah. <sighs> well thank you so much for sharing all this knowledge with me <laughs> i yawned only about like four times <laughs> <sighs> well if you're thinking about getting cualtlique just know that uh there's so much really beautiful things that come with the history and the culture you know mm -hmm. that i feel like when you get this piece done uh, I feel like you would appreciate it more knowing that so much that this goddess went through to uh, poor woman pooped yeah. out 401 children <laughs> got cheated on and then her kids tried to kill her mm -hmm. and then she pooped out another son who is a son and he saved her mm -hmm. when you kill people what is it uh, when you sacrifice because people start sacrificing themselves and sacrificing people and offering their hearts and blood to Cualtlicue. So she's probably starving. <laughs> Nobody has uh, sacrificed themselves no, for I her. I guess not. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. Oh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this episode. It was, it was really long. different. It was hella different. But yeah. But this is a little taste of Mr. Kevin Reyes and what I go through. <laughs> If you have any other suggestions on what you guys want to learn about what a tattoo mean or the meaning of uh, any tattoo, drop a comment, let me know, and yeah, well, I'll do some research on it. Yeah, let's make them work. Yes, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week or in two weeks or in three weeks. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs>